everyone, Anna Kruger here with Sparking Progress. And today we're gonna talk through three things you can do to help your mindset improve pretty quickly. All right, well, three things that will help your mindset improve pretty quickly. Number one, I had always heard the value of being grateful, but I had one particular situation that it really rung true of how important thankfulness is. So many of you know that I was the caretaker for my mom, a cancer patient for about 11 years. Well, I remember one particularly really dark time. We were in the hospital and it was just the two of us. She was kind of out of it in the bed and I was sitting in the little bench, kind of a hard bench off to the side. And I was just in a foul mood, understandably. I was really discouraged, honestly pretty scared and quite overwhelmed. And as I was sitting there, I thought, I've got to help myself get out of this mood. Have you ever been in a mood and you're annoying your own self? That was me that day. So I remembered knowing, or somebody had told me that when you make a list of what you're grateful for, it can help pull you out of a negative mindset. So I decided to grab pen and paper and I thought I would flow with ideas pretty quickly. And the truth is I sat there for quite a while with no ideas. I just was in such a headspace, I couldn't even think of anything. Well, about that time a nurse walked in, she did whatever she did with my mom. And so I wrote down, I'm thankful there are nurses who know what to do when I don't. And that was my first one. A couple minutes went by and I thought, you know, I'm thankful I have a seat to sit on. Wrote down number two that I have a seat. And the point is, as I went, each one got a little faster. So the time between number two and number three went a lot faster. And number three and number four went even faster. And I remember by the time I was done in about a 30 minute window, I had filled the front and back of a lined piece of paper full of things I was thankful for. My mindset had truly shifted in about 30 minutes just from making myself think of what I'm thankful for. I know that if it could pull me out of a negative headset or head space in that moment, it can work to pull you out of a negative head space in just about any moment. So point number one is I would encourage you make a list of things you're thankful for, even if it seems super basic. You know, I'm thankful I received this video. I am thankful that I have a computer. I'm thankful that I have a home to live in. You know, I'm thankful that my job is talking to people and maybe not something else that you would rather not be doing. All right, number two, uh, this one's actually really easy for those of us in sales. I encourage you to think of who would be really excited to hear from you if you were to call them, especially a past client. I know that there are days I just have not felt like making those lead generation phone calls. And on those days, I have found it helpful with mindset to call a past client that just was a raving fan that I knew if I call them, they're gonna be happy to hear from me and we're gonna have an uplifting conversation. So I encourage you make a list of people that are past clients that you know, if I call them, they'd be pretty happy to hear from me and make that one of your calls. And you know what, if it needs to be a friend or family member, do that. And then the third thing that can help with mindset is to ask yourself, how often do I need time off to avoid burnout? I used to operate where I would get burnt out then I would schedule the vacation and have a good couple months before the vacation happened. And the whole time I was burned out. So my coach asked me about 10 years ago, how often would you need a vacation to avoid burnout? My answer was one three day weekend a month two one to two week vacations a year. Once I implemented that, I found myself not getting to the place of burnout nearly as often. And you know what? Even just taking a lunch break can help. But the point is, how much time off do you need to avoid burnout? And how could you implement those strategies actually pretty quickly to keep you in a positive headspace? So again, number one, make a list of things you're thankful for. Number two, call someone that would be really happy to hear from you. And then number three, strategize and think through how often would I need time off to avoid burnout? And then make sure you put that in your schedule. All right, well, I hope this helps you with mindset. I know a lot of us need that encouragement right now, and I trust these strategies will help you. I'll see you in the next video.